Elizabeth Taylor died 11 years ago of congestive heart failure, but interest in the screen legend goes on. Now a new book reveals the love letters she wrote to her many husbands. They are the legendary Elizabeth Taylor love letters, finally revealed after all of these years. And her love for husband Richard Burton was so intense, she wrote this one three years after he died at age 58. Richard, my always forever love, this is really just for me. Maybe you can hear and feel my soul. They just had this passionate relationship that you could see on the page. New York Times bestselling author Kate Anderson Brower penned the first authorized biography of her life, Elizabeth Taylor, the grit and glamour of an icon. She says the actress's family gave her exclusive access to nearly 7,000 letters, diary entries and personal notes. If somebody was to ask her near the end of her life, why she was married eight times, what do you think she would have said? She lived life to the fullest and she was a passionate person and she said that if she slept with somebody she had to marry them and that was her old-fashioned values. Liz Taylor's many husbands include hotel heir Conrad Hilton, singer Eddie Fisher, Virginia Senator John Warner and of course Richard Burton who she married and divorced twice. I think the love of her life was Richard Burton and looking at these letters that are just so romantic and passionate between them. Her last husband was the unlikeliest of all, Larry Fortensky, a construction worker she met in rehab. The marriage only lasted five years. They were not um, an ideal match, like he had never been on an airplane before. Elizabeth Taylor died in 2011 at age 79, leaving a lasting legacy as one of the last stars of Hollywood's golden age. She had to fight for the roles she wanted. She demanded to get paid a million dollars when no other actor was getting that much money. And she had to fight for true love and she never really was satisfied in the end. Ms. Taylor! 